Americans are in debt for more than $12 trillion. So it's fair to say every little bit of cash helps. That's why our consumer investigator, Danielle Serino, decided to spread the wealth with some strangers. Rita, hit it. Today was Matthew Fradiani's lucky day. We found him money on the website missingmoney.com while looking for his brother Vince, who produces our weekend newscasts. Matthew was owed two checks, one for $13 from an internet company and... Did you ever work at Speedway? I did indeed. Well, you know what? They owe you $39.83. Phenomenal. And it comes a day before his London vacation. Missing Money is a national database which lists unclaimed assets that have been turned over to the state. Just type in a name and you'll see if you're owed money and how to get it for free. So I looked for money for some of my Facebook friends, most of whom I'd never met, to thank them for all their support. I got a surprise for you. Tony Hadala and I started Facebooking when he asked me to cover a weight loss supplement he developed. Instead, we caused him to gain $15 from Sprint. Bring it on out, Anna. But Sprint wanted to be part of the party, bringing in a much bigger prize. We're all about giving customers more for their money, so we added a zero onto the end of that 15, and we would like to present you with $150 today. And they offered him a smartphone with three months of service if he signed with them. I met Ken Kalish when he volunteered for a story I did on Aldi's. Do you know why you're here today? Nationally known magician Rick Smith Jr. had some money up his sleeve. How much is that? Five. It's not five. Give it one more guess. That's actually um, one, two, three, four hundred dollars. No kidding. Well, that was just an illusion. We only found Ken $26 from State Farm Insurance, but... Anytime you get any free money, it's worth it. Patty Candela of Patty C and the Guys played Let's Have a Party for Bob Eden. Prize Patrol! When we delivered him a $35 check. Although it turns out it was actually for his son who had lived there. And then there was Isaac Abadi. So nice to finally meet you. Who cashed in with more than $356. You don't sound very excited about it. Came I'm excited. Here. here, I'll do a cartwheel. <laughs> Isaac is used to winning money, entering more than 100,000 contests. So I won a trip to Vegas, <gasps> New York. Well, this was no world-class vacation, but since Isaac's obsessed with Taco Bell, we took him across the border to celebrate. To found money. I even found cash for some colleagues. We interrupt our programming now for some breaking news. We're getting reports of wads of cash mysteriously showing up all over Northeast Ohio. It's like money palooza out here. Checks flying everywhere. Look at all this. And the latest person to cash in, WKYC's own Hillary Goldston. She was owed at least $100 from her first TV job in Green Bay, Wisconsin. That's amazing. But we weren't making any money anyway. <laughs> Now, since Mama didn't raise no dummy, I saved the scene stealer for the right-hand woman of WKYC's big boss, bringing in dancers from Cleveland's Campus International School. Suzanne Maris was owed $20 from You Promise, the college savings plan. Both my kids are graduated from college now, so now it's my money. Yay! So I found you some cash. Could you uh, talk to the boss and get me a little cash? Yeah, I'll work on that. Free money is something we can all dance to. Now, there are sites that charge you for this info. Forget about it. Missingmoney.com gets you the same info for free. And while the money we found for people was small, a producer here found more than $1,000. I put a link to the site and information on our entertainment on WKYC.com. Good luck.